Hello, dear ones, and welcome back to a new episode of Book Minutes. For today's episode, I chose a very interesting book, especially if you are into human behavior, relationship traits, or men psychology. I'm pretty sure Mihalka would love it too, as he's an expert in this kind of sorcery. So, where are the good men? How to spot the hidden traits of good men and great relationships? The purpose of this book is to try to find an answer to this hard question by showing you what a good man consists of and how to spot them since they rarely are attention seekers. We may need to spend some effort here, but also need to understand why we, as women, tend to think like we do. For instance, why do we friends on guys? Or why are we going after temporary thrills? bad vibes and maybe persons with whom we barely have any stuff in common. Some interesting subjects, if you ask me. As always, I am far away from being an advisor here. I just want to put on the table the ideas I found most interesting and get you into the thinking mood. Look, for instance, it was highly pointed out that in the same way we make poor dietary decisions when we go shopping hungry, we can make poor relationship decisions when we are either lonely or hurting. Or I was mentioning before something about common themes. Um, the thing is that opposing values can be very, very exciting in the beginning of a relationship. But in time, they tend to take a toll when the passion, passion is fading away. Another idea which I found very, very intriguing was about the so-called man card. How do you know a good man? What does this mean, having a good card? You have it or you show it. What is it with this? According to different studies, and uh, by the way, I won't quote them here. It's not my purpose for this podcast. According to, to some studies, a man card has to do with the expectation that the man produces more than he consumes. Um, the explanation goes back to the prehistoric times when hunting was the center of survival. Back then, it would have been bad to return home with only enough food to feed yourself, as a man. This guy would have been shamed for it. He was expected to return home with food enough to feed the whole clan, the whole family, and he was expected to risk his life doing so if necessary. By talking about rewards, his reward was the praise, the respect, and the admiration of others. Basically, this was the man card. I'm curious of what you have to say about this, especially if today <laughs> uh, the times have changed quite a lot. But I want to mention one more idea which I particularly noted. It's, um, it's a comparison between little boys full of joy, curiosity and enthusiasm, followed by a sense of greediness and self-centeredness. Some Domnul Goe from the Romanian literature. I'm pretty sure you, you know the type. Well, what's going on? Uh, these little fellows need also to be sculpted into men. It is highly possible for a woman to teach them that, but no one, according again to the studies, no one does a better job than a good man. I think this idea was absolutely great and I stumbled upon this quite some time and yeah, it really got me thinking. Anyway, again, I forgot myself talking and you see, gone are the minutes. What can I say? Of course, I strongly, strongly recommend the book. Of course, I give it five stars out of five. And uh, before we close, one more thing. I understood that... There is a similar guide applying to women, and definitely on my list. So, dear Santa, now you know. Until next time, this was episode 44 from Book Minutes, available on Instagram, on my highlights, and also on my Book Minutes YouTube channel. Thank you for your um, questions, for your interactions. Thank you for watching me, and um, hit subscribe if you want to see some more episodes upcoming in the next period. Thank you.